Welcome to another episode of Unbiased Transfer Talks. This is going to be a quick one today because I'm in the midst of doing loads of shit and I ain't got time. But I have to get a video out for you lot because there's been a lot of developments as well. Uh, start of the week, um, it's heating up. Now the international break's over, it's going to start heating up. Um, yeah, straight into it. Declan Rice to Arsenal. Still not happening yet. Arsenal put in a second bid, which was 80 million plus 15 million of ad. No, sorry, 75 million, 15 million of. I can't talk. 15 million of add ons. So brings it to 90 million. Uh, West Ham rejected it and said the structure of the deal. And they also want the um, add ons to be a bit easier to attain. So we don't know what they are. Maybe it was like if we win Champions League or something, they want it to be a bit more. Uh, easy for them to get that money um, and then a lot of that to be honest for me Arsenal know that they're just playing hard to get apparently Fabrizio said that Man City are looking to enter the bidding race this week I doubt it I don't see it happening maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm completely wrong and they come and take him but we'll see but I think Arsenal will definitely be putting in another bid and we'll be going forward with that uh, and bringing Declan Rice to the club. Kai Havertz, um, Arsenal are ready in apparently a 60 mil bid. That looks like it would be accepted if we do that. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, not much else to put on that one at the moment. Uh, still 50-50 on it. <laughs> I'll say that every day. Uh, but I've, to be honest, we'll see where that goes. With all the other transfers that Arsenal are linked to, it's sort of like buried this a little bit and made people not stressed about it as much. Which brings me to the next target, who come out of nowhere, Timber from Ajax. Now, Timber from Ajax, he, he's, he's, at our, um, he's an Arsenal target. Man United were looking at him last season. They said they were asking for about 60 to 70 million for Timber. Arsenal are apparently bidded 30 million, which got rejected. Apparently, I'm not sure how concrete that bid was. Um, but to be honest, we all know the first bid's going to get rejected, but we're going to go again, apparently. And they're wanting around 40, 50 million. Now, he's a quality. I haven't seen much of him, but from what I've seen, clips and that, but we know how clips are. Clips make anyone look fantastic. He looks fast, he looks strong. He can play right back and centre back. So I think he's a great signing, to be honest. That's cover for Saliba, cover for right back. It gives us so much mobility at the back to do different things. Having these like Ben White, him, Tommy Asu, these guys that can play full back, centre back, anything like that. So to be honest, I'm happy with that one. I want that signing to happen as well. I think it's great to see Arsenal doing all this business. Boom, boom, boom. Which brings us on to another bit of business with Arsenal. Lavia, uh, we're in talks with him ongoing, so it looks like that could be get done. That's sort of the one more on the, the, the slow burner compared to these other ones that seem like they're a bit fast tracked. So, to be honest with you, them four players that we're linked to, Lavia, there's not really much else to say. We're just talking at the moment, so nothing's concrete, nothing's like putting no bids been put in or anything. Apparently, Southampton want it to be their record under 21 transfer fee. And at the moment, their record is uh, 35 million for Luke Shaw to Man United. So we're looking about 40 million. But we kind of knew that with Man City's 40 million buyer back clause next season activating, we knew it was going to be around that price, you know. And he's worth that price, to be honest. So I think we should go and grab him. Uh, that's it really for the Arsenal news. There's a few other bits of news coming out in Kunku to Chelsea. That's confirmed. We all knew that was happening anyway, but he's officially there. That's it. It's done. Dusted. He's signed. A uh, great player. Great player. I want to see him transition into the Premier League. I think they've got a good sign in there. And Chelsea have got a good team. We know that. It's if they can play together. So we'll have to see next season. But Nkunku, great signing for them. Apart from that, there's not really been much else um, going on. There's been little hints and stuff here and there. But I'm not, I ain't really done my research as much today because I've been so busy working and stuff. So I'm going to make this a short and sweet episode people yeah just to say tomorrow back to normal yeah back with all the all the proper statistics mate 
yeah, with all the fat and proper statistics. Yeah, I almost fucked it up. I was trying to be cocky and I almost fucked it up. But yeah, with the proper statistics, mate. Yeah, the prices, the everything. But today it was off the off the brain and that and off what I've read and remember. So if I've got anything wrong, like uh, prices and stuff like that, uh, bear with me for today, you know. But yeah, that's all for today. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. If you agree with the signings Arsenal are making or whatever your team's making, let me know who you want to sign for your team and who you don't want to sign for your team and who you want to sell. I'm by Sports. Peace.